In this video, we're going to solve three systems of linear equations by elimination, but the focus that we're going to have here is by using multiplication and division in certain ways to make our numbers a little smaller and more manageable. So the, the addition, the multiplication will be a lot easier to do mentally or in our heads. So looking at this first example, it looks like our y's would be great candidates for elimination. So in most cases, you see that the signs are opposite already, so you would just bring the 4 down here and the 6 up here, and you would multiply. And you would end up with a negative 24y and a positive 24y, and that's great. But you don't have to scale it that high, because 4 and 6 have a least common multiple that's smaller than 24. In fact, 4 and 6 have a least common multiple of 12. So what do I need to multiply by negative 4 to make a negative 12? Well, just 3. And what do I need to multiply by positive 6 to make positive 12? Just 2. So instead of bringing down this 4 and bringing up this 6, we can use smaller numbers and make ultimately the whole problem a little more manageable. So let's go ahead and distribute through this 3 on the top and the 2 on the bottom equation. So I have 9x minus 12y equals 141. And then on the second equation, 10x plus 12y equals 30. Okay, and our y's cancel. And again, these numbers are much smaller and easier to work with. So 19x equals 171. So division by 19 will give us x equals 9. Okay. Well, that's not too bad at all. So now that we know one of the values, let's go ahead and plug it back in. Let's go ahead and use the second equation. So 5 times x, so 5 times 9 plus 6y equals 15. So 45 plus 6y equals 15. We'll go ahead and do our little two-step equation, get our 6y by itself. That equals negative 30 right now. And then we can do a little division, and our y value should equal negative 5. So here will be our ordered pair, 9 and negative 5. And again, the strategy we used, instead of outright taking this 4 and multiplying them here, and the 6 multiplying them here, we were actually able to use smaller numbers because 4 and 6 had a least common multiple other than just multiplying them together. So that's going to be one strategy we can use. In this second example, let's go ahead and look at our two equations. I have 3x plus 12y equals negative 21 and negative x plus 5y equals negative 29. Well, something that's interesting that I notice here of this top equation is that all these values are multiples of 3. 3x, 12y, negative 21. So if you were to look at this outright, you might be inclined just to multiply the bottom equation by 3 to eliminate the x's. But instead of multiplying and making all these numbers even bigger, this 3, 12, and negative 21, I can actually divide them all by 3 or multiply them by one third. So I'll have positive x and 12 divided by 3 is positive 4y and negative 21 divided by 3 is negative 7. So when I rewrite the second equation which was unchanged, now I have x and a negative x and those cancel out already. So when I add them together, 9y equals negative 36. So division by 9 gives me y equals negative 4. So we can plug them back in. So let's go ahead and plug them back into the second equation. So negative x plus 5 times y, and y was negative 4, equals negative 29. Negative x minus 20. Let's add 20 to both sides. So negative x equals negative 9, which means positive x will equal positive 9. So our ordered pair will be written as x, y ordered pairs, so 9, negative 4. And again, let's talk about the strategy that we used. 
we noticed that all the coefficients and constants, so all the numeric values in the first equation, were actually multiples of 3. So we just divided every term by 3 in order to get smaller numbers instead of multiplying all the terms in the second equation by 3 and getting even larger numbers. So again, we're focusing on making our numbers more manageable so we can do everything in our head and just do the process a little more quickly. In this third and final example for this video, we see that we have two equations, 4x plus 8y equals 4, and then negative 9x plus 6y equals 63. Looks like both of these equations, we can divide out common terms or a common factor here. The top one, it looks like I can divide out a 4. So I'll just write multiplying by 1 fourth, which is the same as dividing by 4. And it looks like for negative 9, 6, and 63, I could divide a 3 out of those. So I'll go ahead and multiply by 1 third. So in the first one, dividing each of these terms by 4 gives me x plus 2y equals 1. All right, those are already smaller numbers. And multiplying by 1 third, or dividing each of these terms by 3, gives me negative 3x plus 2y equals 21. Okay, so immediately these numbers are much smaller and more manageable to work with. And I, it looks like that positive 2y and positive 2y, if I just multiplied through by a negative 1, I could get rid of the y's. So we'll rewrite the first equation unchanged. So 3x minus 2y equals negative 21. So on addition, the y's will eliminate, and my x has become 4x equals negative 20. So division by 4 gives an x value of negative 5. And when I plug it back in, I've got choices, right? I'm going to go ahead and plug it back into the equations that are much smaller. So let's plug the negative 5 right there, and then plus 2y equals 1. When I add 5 on both sides, 2y equals 6, and ultimately here, y equals 3 when I finish solving. Okay, so this ordered pair becomes negative 5, 3 for the solution. And again, the strategy we employed was we saw that the first equation between 4, 8, and 4, I could divide all those terms by 4. And the second equation between negative 9, 6, and 63, I could divide everything by 3. So when we did that, we had equations that were uh, much smaller numerically and a lot more manageable. And then we were able to use our elimination uh, pretty quickly after we had that done. And our solution was negative 5, 3. So again, in the video, we really focused on kind of employing some strategies to make our equations smaller numerically so they're easier to work with. And you can do that by dividing or multiplying by a fraction and that kind of thing.